it is now easier than ever to mod Marvel Rivals. With the new Rivals Reconstructed Mod Manager, modding is a cinch whether you're on Steam or Epic Games. Plus this mod manager comes packed with extra features that provide so much quality of life improvements, so this is basically the only way to mod now. With that being said, today we'll be doing a quick and easy guide on how to install the Rivals Reconstructed Mod Manager, set it up with your game launcher of choice, and of course how to install the mods. So let's get started. We'll first be going over to Nexus Mods of course, so you'll need to make sure you have an account, but don't worry it's free to sign up and also free to download the mods. I'll also leave the links in the description so you can easily find this mod manager. Once you're all set up we're going to hit this manual download button and once you do that you'll see another pop up and then your download should be complete. Now you need to navigate to your downloads folder where you should see your newly downloaded mod manager. Now we're using a program called WinWar to unzip these files, so if you're unfamiliar with that, I'll be leaving my full guide down below, so make sure you check that out. But for now, we're going to go ahead and extract these files, and inside of our new folder, we're going to keep clicking until we find our rivals reconstructed.exe. We'll of course execute this file. You may receive a prompt like this. All you need to do is hit more info, and then run anyway. The mod manager should pop up. And now you have a choice of either Steam or Epic Games. And if for some reason the mod manager can't find your game files, you can select it manually as well. If that is the case, for Epic Games, we need to head over to our library. And once you find Marvel Rivals, we need to click these three dots. From here, you're going to go over to Manage. And then next to Installation, you're going to click on this folder icon. Now we need to navigate to our Packs folder, which we can access through Marvel Game. Go up to Marvel, Content, and then finally the Packs folder. This will be the address for Epic Games in which you copy and paste. For Steam, we're going to need to right click on Marvel Rivals, go over to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. And then from here it's going to be the same path. So Marvel Game, up to Marvel, Content, and then the Packs folder. This will be your Steam address in which you copy and paste into the Mod Manager. So I'll be choosing Epic Games which is my alt account, which in this case the Mod Manager couldn't find it, but that's okay. So we'll manually have to do it ourselves. But like I said, we just need to paste that address inside of the search bar. And then once done, just go down to select folder. This will be the bread and butter of what we're doing. So now we just need to install a few mods, which of course is the same procedure. We'll go ahead and hit that manual download. And then back in our downloads folder, we're going to need to extract our files. And we simply need to take these pack files and drag it directly on top of the mod manager. Once you do this, all you need to do is press execute mod. Once you hit that button, you'll see a pop up that says mods installed successfully. And then if you simply just go to manage mods, you'll see your newly added mods, which you're able to enable and disable at will. Now one of the features I'm most excited about is the presets. With these presets, you're basically able to create these mini mod packs. So once you've added a few mods into your mod manager, the easiest way to configure these presets is to simply go over to edit mods. And in here, you'll see the list of mods you have. So you simply just need to check the boxes for the mods you want enabled for this specific preset. Once you're done, you just press save changes and then make sure you load that preset. When you go back to the preset menu, you should see that your current loaded preset is the one that you picked. So now you just need to boot up the game. So when you check on your heroes, you should see your mods successfully installed. Damn, what's up Luna? So you're ready to have the time of your life. Now make sure you take advantage of this preset option because now you can fully utilize all of these different mods that you have. So you can instantly load up your thick preset. You can instantly load up your 19 inches of venom. Or if you feel in like a Digimon mood, you can load up your only Digimon characters. Now I'd say the only thing to watch out for is that when you're installing mods, you gotta be sure not to install more than four at a time. In this menu, there's no scroll function yet. And in order to have these installed, you need to hit that execute button, which you can't directly get to. So you'll have to close out a few mods and then you'll see that execute button peeking out right here. But you can expect some updates to come out for this mod manager just by simply going to this icon down here. It'll bring you directly to the Nexus mod page where you can check to see what the current version is. So so as of this video, it's 2.2. And if you look at the mod manager, it is 2.2 as well. Also, if you have any other questions or concerns, definitely check out their Discord as well. Here you can find some additional help or just connect with like-minded modding peeps. If you plan on using this mod manager, make sure to hit that endorse button as well to give the mod author a little bit more motivation because this mod manager is definitely my favorite right now. If you want to see even more modding guides like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time though, we'll see ya.